Hello everybody, what's going on? It's the Epic Hero here and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to be finding out which springs are the best in the Gans Air Grand Masters Edition. If you guys don't know, the new Gans Air comes with three different sets of springs in the Masters Edition. Also standard with a single clear white spring. It comes with orange, yellow, and red. And then shortly after the orange, yellow, and red springs were released, a new Grand Air Grand Masters Edition was released that came with three new springs, the green, the purple, and the blue. In this video, I'm going to be finding out which one of these I like the best in the puzzle. I already know that I like the yellow the best as far as the Masters Edition to go. So I'm going to go ahead and talk through what I'm doing in this video, and we are going to find out which ones I like the best. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I went ahead and got out all of the new springs that I'm going to need to change out the piece. And then I went ahead and took off all of these center caps and started to unscrew the clear springs that were already come standard in the puzzle. I went ahead and started out by just putting two of each springs in the puzzle at the same time. If you guys didn't know, this is a good and efficient way to figure out which ones you like the best. If you just put two of each, then you'll have the perfect amount and you'll be able to test out certain short little algorithms to be able to tell which one you like the best, which one's too fast or too slow. It's just an easy, quick way to be able to tell. I went ahead and tightened down all of these springs to the same tension. And the way that I could tell that it was the same was I always screw it in just to where the screw itself is poking just over the little piece that I put in for the screw. And if I put them all to the same place, then I know that the tensions will be correct and I can only judge it on the springs themselves. After two of each screw was put in, I went ahead and took the puzzle and started to do a couple of algorithms on each of the two faces so I could tell which one I preferred. And as it turned out, I didn't like any of them. They were all way too fast for my liking. Completely uncontrollable for me. Now there may be some people out there who do like it, but anyway, I went ahead and chose which ones I liked the best, and that ended up to be the blue springs. And I took all the other ones out and then completely reassembled the puzzle with the blue springs alone. In the end, I was left with a cube that I didn't much care for. It was just way too fast. All three springs were just completely uncontrollable. If you were to get nervous at all in a competition, you would have no hope of being able to complete algorithms successfully. I think even for a world-class speed cuber, this cube might be a little too fast, much less for a 15 second solve. So to answer the question, which springs are the best, I'm gonna have to go with the classic one that I've been using this whole time, and that is the yellow springs. I tensioned them down just to where I showed you guys in the video and put some weight one in the cube, and it's just about perfect. I get consistently very good times and consistently what I would get with any other really great puzzle. I have to say that the Gans has a very good possibility of being my main, but only with those springs. Sadly, we have just come to the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy and found this helpful. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. And if you'd like more content, please subscribe. I'm the Epic Cuber, and you have an epic day. Bye!